Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. So if you're out there and you're looking at getting into nomading, the first thing you're probably going to be looking into is some sort of solar setup, especially if you're gonna to wanna to be boondocking like us and off the grid completely, never being hooked up to anything. You're gonna need something in order to keep some of your things charged and some of those things that you're going to need that can be charged with solar. So today's video is just gonna be about uh, just a basic solar setup, nothing too crazy. This is what we use every day and it's getting us along perfectly fine. Uh, we've been using it for about seven years. So the first thing you're gonna need is of course solar panels so this may look a little funky to you but uh so this is our this was actually our first panel this is two separate panels actually these are both like the collapsible fold-up ones so this one is by anchor and this one is by big blue um so we had this one for the first two years and we used it every single day and then so the bad part is is they fold in the middle so it makes it smaller but by folding it the little wires in between actually break so you have to rewire it, which I didn't know at first, but I still hung on to the solar panel and we ended up getting this one. And that one did the same thing. So at that point, I realized that the wires were breaking. So I fixed that one and so it wouldn't fold anymore. So I ended up just stapling it to this board. And then I got the old one out and ended up stapling that one to the board. So now we got two panels uh, together at one, uh, as one panel, but we still got uh, ways to charge four USB things at a time. So that's pretty nice. Um, the best part about this is these are really cheap, actually. These... I think they were both around like $60, $70 at the time we purchased them. So, and then together, yeah, we've used them for yeah five years total between the two, and now they're still working. So for $70, uh, about $140, you can get a nice solar panel set up. And if you're going to do a lot of backpacking or hiking around, these are very good for that too because they do fold up. And like I said, they lasted a few years before they started uh, fraying and stuff, but you can still fix this, but I just figured it would be easier to make it more permanent. So definitely get yourself a nice solar panel. Don't go too crazy on it. Um, the thing I like about this the best is that you can move it to wherever you want to in the sun. The ones that are connected to the top of your vehicle and things, you can't move that. And that means you have to be in the sun all day in order to be getting charged um, with the solar panel. So you have to put your van or vehicle or whatever you're driving directly in the sun in order to get the charge. This way you can move it wherever you want to. All right, so now the next biggest things are gonna be obviously things that can charge off of USB that are going to be kind of a necessity for you to have. First thing is gonna be your phone. Well, I'm using it right now to film. So, but definitely you're gonna to have to have a phone in order to either make videos, uh, just make memories for yourself if you're just making videos for that or if you're making them for YouTube. Either way, you're gonna to have to have a phone. Pretty much I think every phone out there will charge with USB. So you're gonna to have to have some sort of device in order to record on. Your next biggest thing is probably gonna be lighting. Lighting is can be all over the board. There's so many things that can charge um, with USB now. It's pretty awesome. So um, right now we have, so we have a flashlight that charges with USB. That comes out handy when you're going for walks and stuff. You never have to replace the batteries. They also make light bulbs that we can use inside if you need lots of lighting. Um, and it has like three different modes and stuff, lots of different varieties of light bulbs out there that charge with USB. Um, so then you can like write and stuff at night if you need to, or if you're doing anything that requires a lot of, of light, you can use those. Otherwise they also have like, kind of like the fairy lights. This one just has like a rubber exterior for, um, for bit having it outside, but this charges with solar panels, but yeah, ours is broken, so working on fixing that. But they have lots of different fairy lights. Those, we usually have Velcroed up to the inside of the camper, and that works out pretty well if you just need a little bit of lighting. Um, it's kind of kind of like mood lighting, I guess, at night, so it's nice to just have a little bit of lighting and not blind you, but you can be able to see to get around and stuff like that. Next is you're gonna to have to have something to like store uh, energy on if you're going to be using your phone and stuff like that. So when it gets cloudy out, you can still keep your phone charged. So you're gonna to need to get yourself some sort of battery packs or a whole bunch of different uh, smaller battery packs work out well. Um, lots of different brands out there that you can get, but those are definitely really nice. Cause as I said, like ours has like four setups or four chargers right now. So we can be charging like a phone plus three battery packs or whatever, whatever combination of things that I'm talking about today, you can be charging them all at the same time. And if you get multiple battery packs, you can charge multiple ones at the same time. Um, and then also with that, you can also get yourself like a bigger battery pack. So this is by Jackery. 
This is just a power bar and a great thing is it turns into a 110 outlet. So if you have a laptop or anything that needs to keep charged, this is the way that we can keep our laptop charged. So that's really nice because you can't charge your laptop straight from a USB. So this can charge, usually it takes about one day for this to be fully charged in full sun. And that's about one full charge of our laptop. So we don't really use our laptop too much, but that's just a nice way. And it also, you can charge USB stuff with it as well. It's just a nice bigger battery bank. They do make ones that are bigger than this. That, those are really uh, popular, the bigger Jackery ones. I'm not sure if those charge with USB, but those are really trendy among a lot of the nomaders out there. And lastly, I would say get yourself a Bluetooth speaker because, you know, you got to have some jams when you're out there and just have a little uh, speaker that charges with USB as well. Those are really cheap. This one, I don't even know. I think it's 808 is the brand. But this thing has been with us since the beginning when we took off on the road and we use it a decent amount and it works out pretty well. And also, if you're like, I don't know, if you ever have like Netflix or whatever, watch movies on your phone, then you can connect this to uh, that and you kind of have a surround sound in your little camper mix that with your fairy lights It makes a pretty nice evening in the middle of nowhere So then when you walk out to go to the bathroom you realize that you're kind of in the middle of nowhere watching a, a movie or something like that. It's really kind of a surreal surreal feeling But anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions on anything I talked about today just leave them in the comments below otherwise I'll try to put links to everything uh, that I showed today. It might not be the exact same item that I showed, but because I know these light bulbs, there's like tons of different light bulbs out there like that. Flashlights, there's tons of different flashlights. Fairy lights, everything. Um, lots of different things. So I'll put some links down below if you're interested in anything like that. Otherwise, we will see you guys out there. Bye.